this video we'll be discussing how to properly work a winch and a clutch. This is a winch. I'll show you how to work this in a second. These are clutches. There's three on the starboard side and two on the port side. I like to think that there's three positions that a clutch can be at. There's closed, there's not open, and there's open completely, which is all the way down. Uh, if you get if you get a good look at the mechanics of the winch, or of the clutch, excuse me, when it's not open, there's still friction on the line. So I wouldn't be able to pull this, even though it's not closed completely, I still can't get any line out. So it's closed completely, not open, still can't, but when it's completely open, there's, it's free to go. So that's important to know when you're trying to drop the, the, main, uh, the main sail or the jib sail that you want the clutches to be completely open so that they're free to fall. And sometimes the clutches can be pretty sticky, so it's just a matter of getting them to the position that you need to get them. Uh, as, far as, the, as far as the winch goes, you always want to take your line and wrap it around and wrap it around clockwise. So clockwise around the winch, if you wrap it counterclockwise, you won't, it won't help you out at all. Useless. So wrapping it around clockwise will allow it to spin freely. And then if you want to raise something, say the jib halyard, and the jib sail, then you put a couple wraps around the drill of the winch, and then you go over to the self teller, in through, pull. And then if you're having trouble pulling it any further, you put the winch handle in. And then you rotate counterclockwise, and that will further increase the tension of the uh, line that you're putting into the cell phone. So that's how you use a clutch and a winch, and good luck.